Join us now for the exciting conclusion of the Concrete Loudspeaker Saga. Okay gang, James Makes back at it again. And today we're going to finish up the continuums. I'm going to get the crossover situated. So what I've got is I've actually got a piece of plexiglass because that's kind of what I had laying around. This is going to go in the back of the speaker. And as you can see, I've laid out my crossover components following the wiring diagram. Uh, and as close as I can, I wanted to follow this um, guidelines here. Um, unfortunately, it can't quite do that just with the shape that I have available to me. So I'm going to work on doing it this way. Um, and because I'm using Plexi, I've got to be really careful. I'm going to drill some holes in here uh, for the wiring, as well as drilling some holes for uh, mounting straps or zip ties, if you like, because that's what they are. So I'm just going to, you know, paint on a couple of dots for holes using my handy dandy Sharpie here. careful when we're drilling plexi. You start with a really nice and small hole. So I'm just going to go ahead and drill out all the holes small and then we'll come back with the bigger little bit. Okay, so looking good so far. We're going to open those holes up with the bigger bits. All right, there we go. So there's our holes drilled. Now to take off the protective plastic. Ta-da, look how nice that looks. So now we can start running some wires. I'm keeping my cardboard underneath as just kind of a template so I can make sure that I'm keeping everything lined up the way it needs to be. I'm going to make myself some little flags for what the different things are. So this one is woofer positive. So I'm just going to write W plus. battery in the drill. Let's keep going with our step drill. Carefully. A little bit bigger. Again, the trick there is not applying any kind of pressure, just using the speed of the drill. Okay, you know, think probably ready to start soldering some things in place. So let's just do that. Oh, whoops, I did forget to drill one other hole. Let's go ahead and do that.
All right, so that's one assembled crossover board. Now we're gonna go offer it up, and then we gotta do some more nerve wracking. How well this is gonna be visible on camera, but you can see here that the, this is a little bit too wide. You can also see where I drilled those holes to mount the rear, and uh, I don't want to have to drill a whole bunch of holes, so what I'm gonna do instead is do something kind of nerve wracking and uh, score and break the edge clean. So, wish me luck. Nothing scoring this. Let's see, get my knife. I want to make sure that it's on the inside where those holes are going to be. Okay, here goes nothing. Yikes. All right, got my gloves on, got my face mask on. Here's hoping we don't break this. Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. There it goes. Ooh, broke where I wanted it. Pretty good. Just got a little bit left over there. Okay, Woo. trim off these edges a little bit. Here we go. Um, slightly smaller crossover board. Let's see if that fits. Okay, it fits. So you can see here, it's looking nice and neat. I did have to move that 2.2 uh, cap, but everything's in position there. So it's looking good. Now I do need to drill a couple of nerve wracking holes for screws just to make sure that this thing is fully supported all the way around. So now that's we're next. I'm gonna solder up the speaker cables. I've got my handy gas powered soldering iron. No, 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 no. It's not going to go anywhere. Dang. Double dang. These bolts are a little bit too long for where that is. Let's see if we can shorten them a little bit, eh? All right, there we go. Just cut those down with the Dremel. Seems like it'll work. Something's catching. Good news, it looks like it was just catching on the wire. So, you can see there, I pulled the wires apart and that actually made it better. So now, gotta figure out how we can wire these guys up. Especially since they're kind of backwards.
because as far as I know, this thing, we never want it to go anywhere. We're going to use red thread locker for it. And they're already red anyway, so there we go. One thing you have to be really careful of with this butane soldering iron is that it has an exhaust that is very hot. So you gotta be careful where you point it. Or like that, you'll burn yourself. Okay. Little flush trim. Connection, perfect. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, no. Still not. Aha. Uh -huh. work? Nope. That will not work. We got the sealer strip on there. Should be good. I think I'm gonna have to shorten the positive, so we're gonna do that. All right, just hoping that that works. Cool, that'll work. So now we're gonna seal them up. Okay, I'm just gonna use the same gasket tape that I used for the drivers. All right, there we go. Now we just gotta get the wires back under there. And then we can screw down the baffle, rear baffle. We get my ohm meter and make sure we haven't shorted anything. 7.3 DC ohms. We are good to go. So we're gonna torque this guy down and then we're gonna call it done. Okay, now we get to go listen to them. Well, everyone, they work. Right now I'm playing a vinyl rip of Our Blake is Night in Tunisia. You can't really get a sense of the scale or impact, but they do seem to swing pretty well. So I'm gonna crank them up here in a little bit, see how they do, get them nice and broken in. So. Thanks for coming with me on this journey. I'm gonna get these guys packed up and sent to my friend in San Jose and hopefully we'll fire up a video with him and see how he enjoys them. All right, thanks for watching. Here they are all packed up on their trip to San Jose and here they are once they've made it in my friend's house. You can see why you wanted that teal color now. And here's my friend Noah enjoying his new speakers after unboxing them. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, happy listening.